In this video, I'm going to compare five different methods of transferring an embroidery pattern. We're going to look at water-soluble violin, hot iron transfer pen, a regular pen, a friction pen, and carbon paper. Now, if you're transferring onto regular white linen, then the easiest thing to do is just to grab any old regular pen and trace it because most patterns are visible directly through the linen. And your line will be clearly visible. Now let's look at the friction pen, which has that little rubber on the end. And if you draw something onto paper and use that little rubber, then you can erase your pen mark. And you can actually do exactly the same thing on fabric, just with small pieces of line. So if I draw the pattern on and I've got a piece of line that I want to remove, I can use the back of the friction pen and just get rid of one small element. If I wanted to if I wanted to get rid of the whole design, then I would use an iron. And that uh, removes it very easily. So just a little bit of heat and that will come off instantly. Nice and easy. Now, if you've got colored linen, you can't really trace through it because we can't see through it. So for here, I'm going to use carbon paper. I'm going to secure my pattern to the top of my fabric, slide the carbon paper black side down underneath the pattern and trace over it with a pen. You have to press quite firmly. Let's have a look. The lines are nicely visible and they're not too thick. Now let's have a look at the hot iron transfer pen. It has a felt tip pen and all you do is you draw over the top of your design, then get your ironing board or a towel, flip your design upside down facing the linen and then iron directly over the top of it. And the design transfers nice and neatly but in reverse image. Next, well, let's have a look at some black linen. Obviously, we're not going to be able to transfer it onto here. And for this, I'm going to use water-soluble violin. This is very easy to trace over because the design is easily visible. So once you've got your pattern, and there you go, you can see the line work very easily. We're going to place the linen onto a hoop, put the violin over the top and secure it with the hoop. And then you can see the pattern there, but you can't see the linen underneath. And then you just stitch over the top of all your design. Now, once you've finished all of your stitching, remove your hoop and then remove the excess violin. Now, obviously I'm not going to be this wasteful. <laughs> you would cut it much more economically and stitch a much bigger design, but we're going to remove the excess violin and then you're going to soak it in a little bit of water, agitate it a little bit inside until all the violin has dissolved and disappeared. And then you just dry it. So once again, here are the five different methods and the pros and cons for each one.